I'm gonna try something. Meet Glenn Doshi. Though you may not have heard his name, you've almost certainly heard his work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, a painter, what does he have? A brush. He's got paint. And he's got a canvas. What do I have? Well, I've got my lips. Glenn specializes in what Hollywood calls automated kiss replacement, or AKR. It's a post-production process that ensures the perfect kiss for those steamy scenes. Hey. Oh, Paul, it's been so long since I've seen you. Good, good to, good to see, see you. Yeah. I'm gonna head in there. What are you What are you thinking today, Paul? What are you using for Gibson? You got an avocado in there, or? Uh... Some balls, got some sports items. Um, I got a few, few different things. Looking forward to seeing what you're doing with the balls. It's not what you think. I'm just gonna be kissing the balls. All right, fair enough. Conversations like these might sound strange to you or me, but in Hollywood, it's just another day at the office. So Jim Cameron calls me up a few years back and he tells me, Glenn, hey, I got this kid. He's a great actor, but he can't kiss. It looks great on camera. The kiss looks great, but it just doesn't sound right. <clears throat> I tell him, you know, Jim, do the kiss. Shoot it. Make it look good. Leave the rest to me. And uh, that was Titanic. No. Wish the people at home could really feel this. I'm blushing. So how do you break down a scene? Well, you have the, the obvious things. How was it lit? Where was it shot? Okay, and then you say, I'm kissing for this actor. What are they wearing? You might call their assistant and say, what do they keep in their trailer? Perhaps I might request an actor's home videos, maybe a wedding video, maybe the birth of their child. Not necessarily to invade them, but more just to look for kisses. One major part of Glenn's artistic process is the use of a wide array of different props. If it can be kissed, Glenn's probably kissed it. You know, when you look at art and you feel a certain way, I happen to look at Mel Gibson and think of a hammer. I have a large uh, warehouse space that I rent south of here, and it's, uh, it's fill, filled with props. I mean, years and years ago, all the props I've used, all the props I've wanted to use, all the props I hope to use. You know, this is where I think, this is where I feel out a kiss. I, I can try anything I want. I can kind of be alone and, and do my own thing. You know, wood boxes, Rolodexes, you know, got a whole lot of Rolodexes. Um, they all sound different is the thing. A few coffee grinders that I kiss with. Uh, let me show you a few thank you notes I got from uh, some of the actors I've worked with. This kid from TV. Uh, uh, Will Smith, nice kid, did a few kisses uh, for him on the, the show. If I am kissing for, say, someone who is very beautiful, you might want to kiss a bike tire. And if you're kissing for someone older, maybe someone not as traditionally beautiful, you might want to kiss a, a shoelace. What props haven't you used? I suppose uh, large machinery. I've never kissed. You know, anything that grows out of the ground that's larger than 150 feet. I've never kissed anything that's live electrical. I've never kissed a bird of prey. So yeah, there, there, there are actually, yeah, there are a few things I haven't used that I plan to use. Um, and yes, I, I have kissed a frog to answer that question. What's one piece of advice you'd give an aspiring AKR artist. You always got to practice. Kiss, kiss, kiss. The three K's. <laughs> Paul, come here, huh? That's uh, really uh, great work with you guys. Man. Man. Can I get one more kiss? Yeah, let me. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'll see you later. All right. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. Man. Glenn, who gets a real kiss from you? I'll tell you, there, there's only one. It's my dog, Beansy. And every morning I give him a big smooch. And then every night I do it too, so. Come on, give me a kiss. The perfect smooch for one lucky pooch. Love kissing this guy. Beth Masters, <laughs> Channel 6 News. Beth's savings are on.